there we go. Fish on. Nice. Fish on. <laughs> Let's see if I Let's see if I'm right. Oh no. Oh, that freaking sucks. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. I said thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fly Fish Dan. <laughs> As you can see, I continue on with my roadside fly fishing and there's there's nothing more roadside than this lake on this highway because if you were to lose control of your car, you would literally launch yourself into the lake. Thankfully, that didn't happen on this trip, but I've got the pontoon boat and my fly gear and we're gonna see if there's any fish living in this lake right behind my camera. All right, let's go do this, fish on. Ah, nothing like fly fishing and a little peace and quiet. <laughs> Nope. Oh, uh. All right. So, if you're looking for peace and quiet, this is not the lake that you want to fish. <laughs> Let's just hope it has some fish. Just talked to another guy, Joe. He uh, just caught one right when he came out, so that's a good sign. It's a little bit windy. Water clarity is a little cloudy, but hopefully uh, hopefully I'll get into a fish. But I think I'm gonna paddle on, on kind of the other side of the, the uh, lake here and I don't know, just kind of get away from all the noise if I can just a little bit. So I'll see you on the other side of the lake. All right, I got a couple of setups with me, actually three. I'll show you what I'm using right away. It is my six weight. I have a full sink line and I've got a really dark articulated leech on this full sink line. So I'm gonna kind of do the, the boring still water tactic and throw it out in front of me and just kind of drag it along and see if there's anything way down deep. All right, let's go see if we can catch a fish. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a jumper. It's like a good fish. Little rainbow. Can't argue with that. Nice. If you notice what I just netted them in, this is my new Hellbender downstream. Has a much longer handle. Nice big basket. Super excited to uh, be using this net today. See you later. Grow up and get bigger. Nice. Fish on! <laughs> I was kind of just kind of exploring the lake a little bit and this fish came up and blasted it as I was rowing at about 400 miles an hour. Hi, little buddy. There you go. It's just a, just a wee little fish. All right, I got my three weight and I just got this, uh, where is it? This little dry. And I am thinking that this is gonna work. Come on. We got fish rising all around me. They're sipping something on top. I'm thinking this could be the ticket. If I let's see if I'm right, that is a broken rod. Oh no! Oh man, what a disappointment! So this is uh, this is my dad's rod that he handed down to me. He's still with us, thankfully, but he was uh, kind enough to give me his three-weight Winston, which just broke towards the top. I'm not sure what happened. I mean, I was just in the middle of the cast. Tough to say, but super disappointed. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get this thing fixed because I love this three weight. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, rig rig up another rod because this one is out of commission. 
Dang it. I'm doing it. It's the it's the most boring form of fly fishing, and that is throwing your line out and rowing. <laughs> uh, I'm cold and I want to go in. Don't judge me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet. Oh, do I still got it? Oh, I lost it. Damn it. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Technically, that's not fly fishing when you're just dragging it behind the boat. But, you know, if your rod's not in the water, you're not going to catch fish. So, I'm counting that one. <laughs> well, a lot happened on today's episode. I finally got out the brand new net. It's the Hellbender <laughs> downstream. It's such a long handle, it's hard to get it in frame. So, there's the positive of the trip. I was able to net a couple of fish with my new Hellbender net. I guess the bummer of the trip is my three-weight Winston is now a three-piece, unfortunately. It just broke during a cast. Kind of a bummer. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna bring it into the Puget Sound Fly Company and see if Anil can get this fixed. So, fingers crossed, because this is uh, got some really good fishing karma and a lot of nostalgia a lot of nostalgia being my dad's rod so all right well i appreciate you joining me on this quick afternoon fly fishing trip roadside all right everybody until the next time oh hey before we let you go i need you to check out this video right here i fished this small creek in eastern washington and had a ridiculous day i mean you just got to see for yourself one of those days that you remember for a very long time Tiny Creek, big fish. Check it out right here. All right, everybody. Till the next time. Fish on.